Welcome back to Goldcrest Valley. In the last one, we did a lot of contract work, and we also figured out how to fertilize our fields, which turned out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Well, today, we're going to go even further. So we've done field work, we've done crops, different crops, and we've used a combine harvester. But now, we are going to have to utilize a new piece of equipment, a mower, because, well, we need to do some mowing. We've got a baler, so we don't need to worry about that. We've got a bell trailer, so we know how to collect those bells, but that's about it. We're going to need mowers, we're going to need a windrobe, uh, we may need a tether as well, we'll have to figure that one out. We're going to be making some TMR, because I'm going to do my best to have some cattle by the end of this. So we're going to be rebuying a couple areas from our farm. If we go down here to the bottom left-hand corner, there's Field 42 right here. Now, Field 42 is pretty cheap, $56,000. But if I come over here, uh, well, that's bigger. 1.8 versus 6.39. It's a much larger field. It's about four times the size. And I want it. I want to buy that. Uh, we could also buy these. I don't I don't know how this is two fields, but uh, uh, we could also buy that if we wanted to. I'm, I'm not sure if that's something I want to do or not. Down here at the farm, and you know what? I may actually want to do this because this is already spread out into two fields for us. We'll have to buy three different lands. However, it will be cheaper to buy these right here th than it would be to buy that and this. I know it's not as much, but th the land area between 46, 44, and 42 is almost identical to the entirety of 41 at a much cheaper price. So I think that may be what I do. Uh, let, let's come in here and, and buy these, at least for the time being. We're just going to buy the fields themselves. We're not going to buy the cattle area because, well, we don't have any food to feed them. I don't have enough money to buy the cattle, and I also need to buy the equipment. And furthermore, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take out a loan. Mainly because I don't have enough power to pull the mowers that I want to get. This is the Laley Splendid Mo Pack, and we just happen to be lucky because these were base game in Farming Simulator 17. So let's go ahead and get one of those. Let's get one of these. Uh, power requirements, say 170 and 90, so we need 260 horsepower at least. Some other pieces of equipment that we need are something like this, a loading wagon. Now, I've used this loading wagon for a lot of different series, but we're gonna have to go back to it, unfortunately. Uh, in the, uh, in the Farm Sim 17 game, this was, this was base game. Boss Alpin. No. Is that 19? Crap. 22. In Farm Sim 17, it was the Euroboss 330. However, I've been able, unable to find a mod of that, so we're gonna have to go with this. We also need a tether, but unfortunately in Farm Sub 17, as far as I could find, there were no small tethers. Um, there were there were mods, obviously. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go with this. Cavern Lantar of 8460. Uh, this works great for Farm Sim uh, in, in 22. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with it here as well. Just don't know what color tires I wanna go with. If we're making silage, we also need a bill wrapper and at least for our, um, well, square bell, but I think this is probably what we're gonna have to go with here. It'll only wrap 180 and 220 centimeter square bells. However, there are some modded ones like this guy right here, which we will get. Uh, this is from the K-branded silage pack. And that leaves us here, which is very good. We've got enough equipment now to make uh, uh, hay, we can do silage bells, we can uh, do most things. However, there's still a few things left to do, like well, a windrow for one thing, but I don't have enough money for it. The one we're going to go for is this, the Cabernet GA 9531. This was base game for Farming Simulator 17, so that's the one we will use. This is a mod. However, it's 30 grand and I have 12. One of my most favorite tractors to use in Farm Sim 17 was the Case Optum. Now, we could also go with a Case Puma, and that actually may be a better option for me. I want this, and I just wanted to let you know. That I, I want this, but I, I can't have it. I can't afford it. So then that brings us to the case Puma. Uh, 225 horsepower. We need 200 and I think it was, what, was it 260, 200, something like that. Well, we could do 270 on here, which is something we would definitely need to do. Uh, we need about $200,000 on here. We need about 30 for the other guys, so I think a $250,000 loan may be in order. Okay, I think we are good. Man, I'm so excited. If you guys watched any of my Let's Plays and series like that, it formed Sim 17. The Puma was definitely something that I used a lot. Now, back then we had the uh, CVX. This one's got a, a different wheel setup on the back, but the, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's close-ish, which is good. Uh, but this is one of the reasons, honestly, the Puma may be a little bit 
to. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's moving all right. Uh, on the setup. Okay, that tree is solid. You know, there's plenty of roads to get to where I wanted to go. I just kind of wanted to go off road a little bit. Uh, over here, these fields are actually spread out really nicely for us. And I'm going to hit as much of the exterior of these as I possibly can. We're going to get these mowed up. I'm going to hire them up on a worker so that's just easier for me at the end of the day. Double check to make sure I actually did buy this field. Yes, this is a field that I bought. I literally could have just come up this dirt road right here. I'm an idiot. Now, running into roads was not something that a lot of people had to do back at Farm Sim 17. However, with this field and this setup specifically, it's definitely something we're going to have to do. So I think I may end up running either one whole pass around the whole field. I may end up doing just a little bit here and there, uh, but we definitely needed to do this. Also, uh, other than like mowing and field work, animals and stuff, I just think about trying to do some logging. I never really did any logging in Farm Sim 17. I have also decided against trying to do some uh, wild and crazy mowing techniques. So I think I'm just going to stick to running one pass around the whole thing and being done. Let's raise that up. Let's turn on the front mower. There we go. Rock and roll. And hire a worker. Drop it down. Nice. One of these fields is going to be silage. The other one's going to be hay. I think because this is a bigger field right here, we may leave this one to uh, being hay because we can collect that and then we can make some silage bales off the smaller field. Doesn't have to be massive. It can actually be really easy. Generally, I would go for a larger field for doing silage, but that's also more work and <laughs> lazy. Now, this right here was always an interesting spot because I was never quite sure how I was supposed to do this. Today, with you guys, all I'm going to do is just go right past it. Just go right past this little area right here on the edge of the field. Also, way back when, I would also take all these fields and plow them together. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough time to do that. At least not for this setup. There we go. Perfect. Now that that's done, I am going to come down here to this part and see if I can hit this. I don't know why. But for some reason, all I want to do is make this field, like, mowed perfectly. When I come through Windrow and Tedit and stuff, that's going to be where it's going to just not work. <laughs> but at least for now, I know that I can do this and it'll work perfect. Look at this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I love it. Worker seems to be doing okay. And it's at this point that I'm also hoping that the worker has enough room to turn around. But I think think we've given them plenty of room to turn around yeah man all right um also a little question for you back in farm sub 17 we had different ways of making money for example we had a little box that would give us 10 grand every hour or every day that uh that certainly helped out a lot there's a lot of little mods like that plus we had solar panels and things like that though i think with solar panels those do take a little while to, to actually work so I'm not quite sure if that's something that we're going to be able to do or not. Let's come through here. I'm just going to do this myself. There's no point in hiring a worker up on it. And then we'll hire a worker on the other set and just kind of let him keep going and hitting the rest of this field. Like I said, I think this field is going to be our uh, tedded field so that we could do hay and, uh, well, we don't have to wrap it up nor bail it. All we gotta do is pick it up with the loading wagon. It also worries me sick because this thing is tiny. Let's let's sell that. Let's see, we got $35,000. There's gotta be a bigger one that we've got. Uh, oh, 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 I got an idea. So Pottinger actually had the 1214T as base game in Farm Sim uh, 17. So this may be something to go with. This is actually a mod from the Pottinger pack. I don't, know, I don't know how I have it or installed. There's a ton of tethers I don't have installed, but I have this one. So we'll go with the way that, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money now. I love being able to reset equipment. Oh, yeah, we got the whole gang down here, boys. Also, another reason that I wanted to go with a uh, case as a tractor. Of course, the Puma was usually one of the first upgrades I made. I did a lot of case farms. I did quite a few New Holland farms as well. I um, also did a Valtra farm, but, uh, well, I painted those green, so... Not sure if that really counts. Why did I come over here? I gotta go over here. We got the boys lined up ready to rock. So first things first, let's jump in the New Holland. Bam, let's get this thing unfolded. Hopefully we've got enough power to pull this. Also, how's the mower doing? It was doing just fine. I, I, I may enable fast farming on this. I, I had not because I felt like 12 miles an hour was probably enough. Um, 
That might be a little bit quick. Maybe 20? 20 seems, 20 seems good. That is a big tatter. I was not ready for that. <laughs> uh, this, this may be a little bit too big for, for what I'm wanting to do here. Uh, let's just turn it on and go. Yeah, this is, this is quite a large implement. <laughs> hey, I'll take it though. I'll take it, but this is a little bit more than I think I needed. Uh, I think maybe 10, 10 meters or something like that would have worked okay. But hey, big tedder's all right. Works for me. Let's pull through here. Hopefully this mower will get out of the way. There we go. And we are going to hit all of this. I'm going to go ahead and hit all the parts that I've already done. Uh, we will have to come back through and hit all these little itty bitty areas that we missed, but yeah, that'll be okay. We just need to make sure that we hit all of this. Get it lined up and may as well hire a worker on this while I'm at it. Tethers are one of the things normally I don't fast farm. I've tried it a couple times if you watch previous series. It never works out, man. <laughs> you just end up going too fast. It ends up skipping everything. So uh, we are going to go nice and slow today with our tedding. Seasons was also something else that was a bit of a game changer for Farm Sim 17. Now, I am not using seasons nor seasonal cycles. Uh, nothing like that's just a whole lot easier with series that I do if I've got full control over everything. The reason I like having full control over it is because, well, I know what's going to happen. And that was one of the nice things about seasons is the more you played with it, the more you were like, yeah, I know what's going to happen. It'll be just fine. But now with kind of the way the seasonal cycles are, it takes forever. And if you don't use those, well, then it takes forever. So it takes like a whole year to do something. And for me, it's just a whole lot easier if I could just do whatever I want to whenever I want to do it. That area was easy. Nice. All right, we'll bring it around here. We'll see what we can get done with this. I'm just going to hire him on a worker. Let him do the thing. Uh, I am not going to be windrowing until this whole field has been tetted, mainly because every time I try to do that, the tether comes through and ruins my windrows. So we're not getting no windrows ruined today, boys. A bit of perfect timing, actually, as their mower's almost done with this field, which makes things nice and easy. Ba bam Good to go. So I missed a little bit. Hang tight a minute there. What is this? How did you miss that? Ugh. Never win. You can never win with these guys. <laughs> All right, this field as well, uh, we are going to go through. We're going to do a nice little squared off area for it. Let's raise this up. I think about there's where the rear mowers will work. I'm going to hire them up on a worker. That way it's only going to mow the field part itself. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Done. Good. One square around this, and then it'll be hired up to do everything like normal. And eventually, whenever we get rid of this loan, or maybe we may even in the series with a loan, who knows? Can you imagine that? Be like, all right, well, we had a great time. We're $2 million in debt, but we had a great time. <laughs> that would be tough. Now that our outer pass is done, we can hire him up on a worker and let him go ahead and hit the rest of this field. Again, this is the silage field. Ooh, still, still got my 20% on. Ooh, need to take that off. There we go, that's better. You know, one thing we could probably do is go ahead and take our windrow down to the grass silage field and hit that. Yeah, we, we could definitely do that. I mean, we're going to have to bring it up to this field eventually anyway. But uh, yeah, this, I mean, that mower is going to be going faster than this thing goes. We may as well. Plus, we're going to be going from top to bottom on this field down here. Just hopefully it doesn't come up into this field, did he? It, it might. Let's, let's be fair, it might. See the tire worker, see how it does. Will you behave? Seems to be behaving okay. I'm going to set this to 14 miles an hour. That's what we got the mower at right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Big question, though, is going to be how will this worker do whenever it comes to turning around and stuff? Uh, they have definitely made a few circles <laughs> right here, but seems to be okay. I, I may do this work myself. I may, I may this, do this job myself. Yeah, so the worker's taking forever to turn around in the very end. So here's what I'm doing. I'll show you this. Um, I use the workers to get some straight lines down the lane. However, once we get down to the end, fire them up, reset the implement itself, bring it back here, turn it on, then hire the workers as soon as I get into the field. 
And this seems to work okay. Now, this is a sight right here. Check this out. We've got all three of these implements that are running at the same time. Actually, three workers running at the same time right now, which is very, very cool. There we go. Let's fire this guy. Let's find our new Holland. Boom. Job should be done. Tell me the job is done. You haven't told me. You're fired. Tether's done. We don't need that anymore. We're going to bring it down here and put it into the shed. This is going to be where all of the grass work pieces of equipment are going to go. Um, as I mentioned before, I kind of liked how all the different little areas on the farm had buildings laid here. So we could actually put this like mm, about right there. And that would work. And mowing's done. Wow. Well, that didn't take long at all. And I'm very, very excited to see how this case Puma is going to be playing out for the rest of the series. I imagine we're going to keep it. I, I don't see getting rid of this thing. I love it. Down to the end here, and we've got two rows that uh, were, one's a full row, one's a partial. So I'm just going to go put both of these together. I think the baler can hit that. Oh, I can use the Puma for the baling. Yeah. As for windrowing the uh, hayfield right here, I forgot what this was called. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. So pretty much what I'm going to do is we're going to run around the entirety of the field uh, once. Just like we have been, we also need to make sure that we're getting kind of into the grass area a little bit because we do have hay out in there. Man, I tell you what, it does make me happy to see such awesome lines of the field. Look at that. Oh, so neat and tidy. Once we've got all of this done, at least the first pass all the way around the outside, then we're going to pick it up. So I'm not going to leave this uh, hay on the ground. We're going to go ahead and pick this up. Reason being is because, well, the windrow is just going to come through and, well, hit that. So I need to wait for this in a three, two, one, hire the worker. Fire. Sorry. Get out of here birds something i don't know uh, we need to take this now down here and get it ready because we'll hire it up on a worker again uh to hit this spot just like so because this is kind of the side of the field more or less it's gonna be a whole lot easier just to come through and do this in its own little area so hire him up on a worker we'll fire him when we get down here to the end then whenever we're done with uh picking all this up then we can hire him up on a worker and know that the field will not only get done but we also don't have to worry about it putting stuff everywhere. A little bit of work here and there, helping out your workers really goes a long way. Unfortunately, with this job right here, we can't hire a worker. So I gotta do this all myself. Good part is, oh, I raised it up, lowered it, something. I didn't do the right things. Can we do this again? Can we try this? Your mom doesn't have access to this land. Get out of here. Yeah, there we go. We got hay going in. So now that I've picked up the uh, area all the way around, this guy can actually be hired on a worker to do this field for us, and we don't have to worry about him causing any trouble. So we'll bring it down, put it about right here-ish, hire the worker, and let him rock. I'm also going to hire him up on the fastest speeds possible. That way we can get this done. There he goes. Perfect. All right. Now all we do is follow along and I think we'll be good to go. Although uh, we are going to catch up fairly quickly. All right. We've already got an idiot here. Uh, this may be a job that I have to do off screen because obviously he cannot be trusted to do this job. Yeah, great. So then I think in the meantime, we get to take our Puma as well as the New Holland... Uh, 8320, 8340. I've totally forgotten what that thing's called. Uh, let's go grab our baler over here from the shop. Then we're going to grab the wrapper and we'll make some silage bells. I've also got one of the uh, mods that recently came out when I'm recording this from Yoast Modding, which is a, uh, well, automatic ferment mod. So the grass bells will turn into silage immediately. Yeah, it's cheating, but whatever. Just doing one more check to make sure we could do 240 centimeter square bells. We can... Double check, we are on 220s right now. There we go, reset to 240s. And we also uh, have our bell counter reset. I don't know how that happened. We made a lot of bells yesterday. Oh well. Man, the bells are popping out like crazy. We are, are making quite a few already. We've got a couple more rows left, but we've already made 11 bells. This is gonna be number 12, 13, and 14 in here right now. Last bell's coming out now. Boop, 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 boop. Got it, 19 bells, nice. My assumption is that this works like a normal bell wrapper. Um, it's definitely not a fast wrap, but well, it's doing it. So, hey, that'll work for me. Also, just 
double checking here. Uh, it did say that, oh, oh, we should probably turn on the uh, auto bell drop. How do you do that? Turn on auto drop. There we go. This should be silage now. And it is. Sweet. 6,500 liters of silage. Nice. All right. Let's, uh, let's just keep doing that over and over again. We've still got some more windrowing to do on the hay field, and we need to pick all of that up. But once we've got that done, we will be completely finished with those grass fields. I also need to figure out how I'm going to store it. I believe that that silo would work well there. However, we don't want to bring it all the way over here just to store it to take it all the way back. So uh, I think we're going to have to come up with some sort of silo system. I, I, I got a couple ideas, so we'll probably end up using it uh, that way for the other side. Also, totally forgot that this map has a road going straight down the middle all the way from one side to the other. I love going fast, yeah. Look how I actually turned at the right spot. I didn't even mean to, I just, I just did. <laughs> Sweet, all right, we'll get in here. We'll pick up these bales. Uh, we'll at least move them over in the meantime, but we will need to uh, get the silo system set up for TMR, but we will, of course, have to do that in the next one.